Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing my previous video. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about diabetes mellitus. What is diabetes mellitus? It's a metabolic syndrome characterized by high blood sugar, hyperglycemia to be specific, because of no insulin. So we have two different types of diabetes. We have type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is majorly early onset and it's insulin dependent. And type 2 is late onset and it's non-insulin dependent and it's majorly dependent on your lifestyle. So I'm going to focus on type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, as I said earlier, is insulin dependent, which means you'll be using insulin for the rest of your life. And how do you know, how do you actually recognize that you have diabetes mellitus? First of all, there are three classic symptoms of diabetes mellitus. One is polyuria, meaning you'll be urinating a lot. Polyphagia, meaning you'll be eating a lot. Then polydipsia, you'll be feeling thirsty, so you'll be taking a lot of water. And then the last one is unexplained weight loss. So when you have these symptoms, please make sure you go and see a doctor. Not that you get those symptoms in one day and you rush to a doctor. They have to be like progressive. You have the symptoms for quite a, some period of time. Make sure you go to a doctor, explain your symptoms, and then they'll do a workup. They'll do your blood sugar test. And then from there, if they declare you like you're diabetic, they'll put you on insulin if it's type 1. So there are various types of insulin that you should know about. First of all, there are rapid-acting insulins. An example is Novorapid. So you're always advised to inject um, yourself 15 minutes before you eat. The second type is the short-acting act, short or regular insulin. So that one, you also inject yourself before meals. The third one is intermediate acting insulin and then the fourth one is long acting insulins and then there's usually a mixture of insulin so they can combine a short acting and a long acting or a rapid acting and a long acting insulin to make a, what we call biphasic insulin an example that is common in the market is mixed and so how do, I, I'll, I'll do a video on how you are supposed to administer insulin so once you're given insulin then various areas where you're supposed to inject it and there are very specific needles that you usually use with your insulin pen so that you can administer to yourself subcutaneously and not intramuscularly so there are various areas as i mentioned earlier the anterior thigh we have the gluteal region then we have the abdominal wall and when you're when you're injecting it's advisable that you rotate the sides because if you don't rotate the sites of injection, you'll start um, having lipodystrophy, which is a side effect. So it means that you'll, even the areas where you'll inject, they'll be painful and then they'll swell. So it's advisable once you inject here today, tomorrow you can inject another place to avoid that. Then insulin has also side effects like hypoglycemia. That is one of the most common side effects of insulin. And how do you recognize that you have hypoglycemia? First of all, you'll feel dizzy you'll feel like you want to faint, you'll feel weakness, and in worst cases, you can progress to a coma or death. So it's important as a diabetic to recognize the signs of hypoglycemia. And how does it come about? It comes about when you actually inject yourself a lot of insulin. So it means that you really don't know the amount of insulin that you are supposed to inject yourself. And then the second one, when you're fasting. So you fast, then you go and inject yourself insulin. That means that you'll go into hypoglycemia. Then the third one, when you like exercise a lot, maybe you've walked from for a very long distance and then you go and, and then you remember, oh, I haven't injected myself insulin, then you go and inject yourself insulin. You'll go into hypoglycemia without even any explanation. So how do you go about it when you have hypoglycemia? You've already recognized the symptoms, you already know like this, I'm having a hypoglycemic attack. How do you go about it? Make sure uh, you have a sweet. So you can just take a sweet or you can drink Fanta or any sugary drink. But to avoid that, just know the doses of insulin that you're supposed to inject yourself. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, I'll be sharing uh, how to inject yourself using the insulin pen. I'll do a demo 
and um, hope to interact with you make sure you comment like subscribe in case of any questions please let me know in the comment section thank you